We have entered 2020. This year is our year. We need to own it. It's all about personal growth, reaching our goals and working towards our dream lives. It is time to level up. We need to become our best selves. I'm bored of waiting around. Okay, this life ain't for me. In today's video, we are going to be preparing for this new year ahead and just doing a few little things that I like to do to ensure that I'm going to have the best year ever. That includes creating my vision board, which is my favourite, favourite thing to do in the new year. I'm also going to be reflecting on my goals from last year. I actually haven't even looked at them yet because I can't even remember what any of them were. So that's probably not a good sign. But first things first, before I do any of that, I need to have a clean and fresh space to like start working in. Let's get all the bad energy out of here. I feel like it's not the worst in the world, you know? There's just a few bits around. But we are not bringing any of this into the new year. We gotta do something about this. And that's all out of the way. I'm gonna look at the goals that I set myself to 2023. The fact that I can't remember them really isn't a good sign. Like, I don't know what I was striving to achieve. I've got my notion out. I'm gonna go on to the notes section. New year improved me. Okay, I'm really scared. Let's go. I have 12 goals on here. First one is I have consistently. Hello? I have consistently uploaded to my social media channels at least once a week. just close it right there to be honest as some of you may be aware i kind of fell off youtube a little bit and just like social media in general i just stopped uploading for quite a while and i think in august i kind of picked it back up okay. i started uploading a lot more consistently when i got back from my holiday to bulgaria in august because i got my new vlog camera and everything just felt so much easier because i was filming on the canon 750d this big fella right here now that's like a pretty big camera, you know, to be like carrying around everything. And she's kind of heavy, you know. And she just doesn't fit in bags. She is giving brick phone. I mean, I definitely think my G7X really did help me get back into YouTube and just I was able to vlog everything from then, like when I got this camera. But since the summer, I think I've been doing pretty well with YouTube. I completed Vlogmas. Crazy. I don't know how I did that, to be totally honest with you. I earned twice the amount of my current income. Yeah, girl. No. I don't even want to talk about it. I have a consistent morning routine. I don't. I wake up at all different times every single day. Sometimes I just lay there, do nothing, scroll on my phone. Other days I try to get up straight away. But we definitely need to work on that as well. I think having a consistent morning routine has been a goal of mine for about 20 years. I'm 20 years old and I'm pretty sure it's been a goal every single year for me. It never has happened. Maybe this is the year that we will have a consistent morning routine. I am excelling in my university studies. Now, I'm not doing bad. Before, January to like March was tough for me. Where uni's concerned, I was just not attending at all. And I had so many assignments to reset and all of that. And then I finally decided that I didn't want to drop out of uni. Yippee. <laughs> and I worked super, super hard on all the assignments that I had to do before the summer. I had a great long break, started back in October. And since October, I've been doing so, so much better. And I'm genuinely really proud of myself. And I'm really happy that I kind of turned 2023 around. I've got the grades back for one of my modules, so I'm pretty sure we do three every semester. And in one of the modules, I got a first this year, which is crazy because I just didn't think that was even possible for me last year. Like I was literally so close to dropping out. Hopefully that hard work and determination continues into 2024. Because it is the year. It's my final year. So I'm hopefully going to be graduating. Travel often. I would say I did that. I went on a good few trips this year. Well, last year. I think I actually was able to go on seven different trips this year, which is just insane to me because up until I was like, oh, like 19, I had been on, I think four holidays. So to think like in this one year, I was able to do that seven different places in one year. That is mind blowing. Like little me would be so, so happy. I am in good shape. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm in bad shape. That doesn't mean I've been working out or anything. So we could definitely improve in that area. In October, I actually got a personal trainer and I started doing that for a few weeks and it was great and I felt really, really good after it, but I just stopped. <laughs> so 
We tried. I am mindful. I think I'm pretty mindful. I think that's something you can always improve on. Learn to cook. I mean, I feel like I've cooked a lot more this year than I ever have, but at the same time, I don't think I've learned to cook very well. I literally make halloumi pasta, and sometimes I fry some chicken, put a bit of Uncle Ben's rice in the microwave. There you go. So weird. I'm learning to drive. I don't think I've even thought about learning to drive in this entire year. Read every day. I don't think I read absolutely every single day, but I read pretty often. Like, I actually really, really enjoy reading. Create consistent short form videos. In like the second half of this year, I really started working on them. I don't think these goals are too bad. I was really, really scared to look at them. So I'm pleasantly surprised with the progress I have made. As well as going through like my list of goals that I had for 2023, I thought it'd also be quite fun to have a look at my vision board. Even though my vision board has literally been the wallpaper, like the background of my laptop since this time last year. I don't really know how many times I've really looked at it and taken it all in. It's been manifesting in the background, but let's have an actual look and dive into what I may have got done. This is my vision board for last year. Over here, we've got a bit of travel, which I did, I did do. We've got a little concert down here, like festival vibe. I did actually go to Reading Festival for one day and I also went to the Sabrina Carpenter emails I can't send to That all. was a dream come true. I am obsessed with Sabrina Carpenter. I love her music so, so much. And it was such an amazing night. I went with my friend Zola and definitely a core cool memory was made. I've got a little camera, which is representing vlogging. I mean, I literally got a vlog camera this year. We've got a girl reading. We've got a girl painting actually, because I wanted to get more into hobbies. And we've also got, I think that's Madison Beer playing guitar because I bought a guitar. I haven't made much progress on it, in all honesty. And I think that is literally because I've been getting acrylic so, so often. But I do love it still. And like every now and then I do pick it up and try and play a little bit of a song. It's Hobby Girl 2024. A little couple on a holiday. Down here is to represent kind of like acting and modeling shoots. And I actually did two Lottie London shoots, which were well, honestly crazy because Lottie London is a brand that I knew of. I think to be chosen by Lottie London to do a shoot, I was like gobsmacked. Like honestly, I was over the moon. I was so, so happy. Such good experiences both times. I actually worked on like a little short film with some friends. So that was cool as well. This one is to represent studying. I have been doing a lot more of that than I have ever done before. I think that's basically everything. And then we've got three different quotes. We've got live your best life and I think definitely did that. I am living my best life and I hope to continue to do so. We've got plan written four times but crossed out and then we've got action because I feel like I'm always planning things, always making a plan. But it's all about the action, you know? I love a plan. I do love a plan but you've got to take action on that plan. And then the last one is the woman who does not require validation from anyone is the most feared individual on the planet. No words. Love it. I think it's time to finally do my favorite thing ever and make our brand new vision board for 2024. gonna be so annoyed at me when I tell you what the date is. 23rd of February 2024. I know I'm terrible. I'm pretty sure one of my new goals. I literally haven't even revisited my goals since I wrote them in this video. I'm sorry. But it's never too late to be setting goals making vision boards and all of that stuff you know. Is it? Just goes to show you know this was done on purpose. I'm filming the rest of this in February so I can get it out and just as a reminder. If you didn't do it then, do it. I wish it was for that. I'm just unprepared. And I lack time management skills, but that is not on my CV. It is time to finally show you my brand new vision board for 2024. I'm so happy with it. I feel like it's really cute. It's really like 
pink and girly vibes which I've been so into recently so I'm actually gonna want to look at it because it's like aesthetically pleasing to me. First of all I'm actually gonna talk you through my goals that I've kind of set myself. I've written them out on notes and I've done it in sections like self, study and work and then I've written like loads of affirmations, manifestation kind of things. We're gonna start with self so some of them are gonna sound really cringy. Be kind to yourself but it's so true like you really need to be kind to yourself and I especially need to be nicer to myself. Sometimes I just get so caught up in like trying to do better and be this amazing person. Like I'm 20 years old, I do have the rest of my life to live. Like I'm only 20, I've just come out of my teens. Well, not really, I'm bloody 21 in April. I was a teenager last year. This time last year I was a teenager. I need to stop putting so much pressure on myself. I just want to get so many things done and I stress myself out. Like today I woke up really, really late. But at the same time, I still got out like straight away. I had a good breakfast, got out, and I did some uni work. Like I'm still, and, and then I filmed this because I've been putting this off for ages. So I'm still achieving things, even if they're small wins. Like I really should appreciate those, even though they're smaller things. They're still gonna slowly but surely get me to where I want to be. I hope <laughs> spend wisely. I'm a terrible spender. I'm literally about to go out for cocktails and dinner. Do I need to? No. I could easily make her some halloumi pasta downstairs right now. To be fair, I have actually been trying to work on this a little bit. Wake up before 11 a.m. every day. Listen, this ain't been going too well today. I woke up at 12.50 today, but it's all right. You've still got time. It's only Feb. I mean, it's the end of Feb. It's still a goal of mine that I'm hoping to achieve. And I know 11 a.m., that sounds so silly. Wake up before 11 a.m., that's easy. It's not for me. Like, I'm just in such a terrible routine, and I really want to work on it. So, if you guys want to... Give me any tips on that. Travel to five places. So I've actually done two this year so far. I've been to Cyprus and my dream holiday, New York. <laughs> Vlog coming soon. Read more. And I want to read at least two self-help books. And at the moment, I'm actually reading Good Vibes, Good Life, which I am thoroughly enjoying, let me tell you. I didn't think I'd be into it. Like, I've really wanted to, like, read a self-help book for the longest time because I feel like they're very motivating and they'll really, like, inspire me. Oh, I'm really loving this one. I didn't think I was going to like it. I thought it was going to be boring. Journal Daily. Haven't been doing it daily, but I'm doing it a lot more often, which is still, again, a win for me because I didn't do it, like, pretty much at all last year. Hair care, I have been on my hair care. I've been doing hair masks and hair oils weekly. I just want my hair to be so much more healthy. And I've also decided I need to start getting like trims more often too. Cause I might be doing all these hair oils and everything, but if my hair's growing just into split ends, it's not going nowhere. So I got a trim a few weeks back and I'm gonna get another one in like six weeks time and try and keep that going. I'm also not gonna be bleaching my hair until April because that would have been six months since I last got it done. Mm -hmm. See, that just gives it time to try and refresh a little bit. Like my natural color is almost all the way back, like underneath, so that's great. I'm not actually trying to get my natural color back, but I'm just trying to have that growth. Study. Get consistently good grades. I am so proud of myself, I'm not gonna lie. We all know. The struggle I've had on my uni journey, but since uh, being in my third year, I've got a first in two of my modules last semester, which I just didn't think was possible. So I'm very, very proud of that. Get ahead of assignments. Again, I'm not doing too bad with that. I am really starting to feel the stress and everything just because I'm doing my dissertation this year and I just don't know where to go with it. I've never done a dissertation before, of course, and I feel like the support I'm needing more support than I'm getting, you know? I am ahead of one of the assignments. Another one I've got, which is like 4,000 words. I'm not ahead of that just yet, but that's one of those things that I feel like I do need to learn the content before I kind of start. And graduate, that's the last one in study. In my work section, I want to get a brand new every two months just because it's good to build like your portfolio and things. And I've actually had two. I think so far. Honestly, shout out to my amazing management power. I love them so much. My manager, Immy, she's just the sweetest person. I love her. And she has helped me so much with this. 120k on YouTube. I don't, I didn't want to say that out loud because my growth has been really, really slow. But as long as like I'm keeping you guys and you know, all my loyal subscribers, my kind of loyal fan, I'm happy. But it would be cool to grow. And yeah, I was scared to say that out loud because it's like. I don't know if we'll get there, but we're going to stay positive and we're going to work on it and we're going to try. We can Instagram 210 k on TikTok again. Don't like saying those numbers, but we're putting it out there. We're putting it into the universe. 
and we're gonna work on it. And consistent posting on all, all platforms, but we're not gonna talk about that one right now. Now, here is my gorgeous girly. She's the main character in all her glory. I actually think she is a stunner. I've pretty much just got like all the girls I just spoke about, but on a vision board, just so I can visualize them all. I'll quickly just run through this. So we've got like some books over here and like studying. We've got someone graduating because hopefully that's gonna be me soon. I really wanna be in my academic comeback era. This one kind of like represents the hair care. This kind of represents like the self care. Gorgy, gorgy natural girl. We've got a casting and then these kind of link together like the modeling career side of things. I've had two shoots already this year, which is great. But I feel like this also kind of represents marketing and then this one definitely does as well. So the like- The marketing career, again, links with uni too, my course. We've got like a fashion show here because I really did want to try and get to like London Fashion Week, but I haven't. But maybe another time or maybe another one. Or just a fashion show in general, if there's any going on. I just feel like it'd be really fun to see and watch and just be invited to. We've got New York City, we've got New York right there, which I've been to. So that's the goal achieved. Like it's my dream place to go to. And I can't believe I've actually done that this year. I just never thought I'd get to New York. Like, it was just one of them places where I was like, wow. I wanna be there, but I don't know if I'll ever get there. We've got Good Vibes, Good Life on here, and I actually put this on here before I even got the book. And then we've got like a little 222K follow account just to represent like growth on social media. Down here, we've got a girly on her birthday because it's gonna be my 21st, so I thought I may as well put something birthday related on there. It's a big one, two one. Got Italy here because Italy is another one of my dream places. And again, I would love to be able to get there. Again, this one is like a little couple on a boat on the sea. Got airplane and we've got suitcases. So that's pretty much what this is representing. And then over here, I totally forgot, there's vlog cameras. So more vlogging, but there's actually two because I really want to make some more friends like in this kind of industry because I feel like you can motivate each other, get content together because sometimes obviously people don't exactly understand the um, importance, I want to say, of like getting content. Like it sounds a little bit silly, but I really just want to up my game. So it'd be cool to have like-minded friends. Oh my God, I didn't even say the quote. So I've got upgrading my entire life this year. I deserve everything. Again, manifesting. Law of attraction. Speak it into the universe, Carly. You got, I dreamed of New York. I am going there. And here is my savings will never stop growing because again, I want to spend more wisely. I want to save a little bit more. That's the vision. That is the vision of 2024. I hope you love it because I know I do. I'm really sorry for this long awaited video, but I really hope all of your dreams come true this year, guys. Like, let's work so hard for it okay we can do this i believe in each and every single one of you and i love you so much